Have you ever wondered how much flight time you actually are getting out of your Mavic Pro according to the specifications? You are about to find out as I have tested the flight time using three of my old batteries, draining them from 100% to 15 and measuring the real flight time. Stay tuned, let's roll that intro. Do you want to improve your drone footage, refine your video skills, learn about e-wheels, the future of commuting, subscribe to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. I know flight time is a sensitive matter. It can literally make or break getting that crucial shot for your next film project because you run out of juice. DJI claims the following flight times. 27 minutes for no wind with a constant speed of 15 miles per hour. 24 minutes hovering. 21 minutes for general flight and 15% left on the battery. This is obtained with a 3030 mAh 3S 11.4 volt LiPo battery pack. The claim temperature range is between 32 and 104 Fahrenheit. The actual flight time depends on a lot of factors, like the obvious one like wind and aircraft speed, but also the rapid change of direction uh, where the battery needs to deliver a lot of power. Temperature also plays an important role as colder conditions reduce the flight time. There are no uh, official information on the DJI website that says that the flight time is tied to a specific temperature. This means that we have to assume that uh, the flight times are valid even for the lower temperature in uh, the operating range. The same goes for number of charging cycles. Owning a Mavic Pro for 12 months and flying it regularly will likely lead to less flight time than when you originally got it. Normally the storing charge is also an important factor if you deplete the battery or store it fully charged. DJI has thought about that and taken certain measures to prevent us from storing the battery fully charged for a longer period of time. The built-in circuitry simply discharges the battery to two-thirds after a period of maximum 10 days. This threshold can be adjusted from the DJI GO app. As you can see, a lot is in play when you have to set your expectations for the flight time. You might be wondering why the hovering time is only 24 minutes, three minutes less than the 15 miles per hour scenario. This is because of the aerodynamic properties of the Mavic Pro that creates lift when it moves. Most testing done by other channels are done while hovering. But both you and I know now that this will not give the right flight time. This is why I've decided to test the Mavic Pro flight time while the Mavic is moving. Locally here it's winter time now and we are around 32 Fahrenheit which matches perfectly with the temperature range specified. It was a nice calm day with little to no wind so my plan was to deplete all three batteries using point of interest at a last 40 meter radius at an altitude of 50 meters traveling at a speed of approximately 15 miles per hour while recording 1080p 25 frames per second nose forward. The flight time was recorded with the DJI GO 4 app after Autoland was initiated at 15% and it was safe back on the ground. Expectations uh, before the test for flight time was around 23 to 25 minutes because I was not planning to shift direction or run at full speed. I did expect the light calm breeze to have some sort of impact. Let me reveal some results. Battery number one. This is my original battery that came with my Mavic. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Go home. Flight time for the record, 25.13. Battery number two. Flight time for the record, 23.28. Battery number three. Flight time, 23.48. Test completed. I want to add that I had to land it two out of three times manually because uh, the Mavic had problems with the smart return to home function. Return to home was interrupted by a low hanging sun shining directly into the front facing sensors. With less than 10% left on the battery, I had to make the call and land it manually. All three batteries came in nicely uh, within my expectations of 23 to 25 minutes of flight time. What flight times are you getting with your batteries? Leave a comment below. I'm very pleased to see that they exceed the 21 minutes in general flight by quite a margin. You will of course see lower flight times if you decide to fly in sport mode, max out the normal speed or fly in windy conditions. Note that the battery label two and three are actually bought later, but they seem to perform equally. I got around 90 seconds more flight time out of my original Mavic Pro battery. So I guess time of production could be a factor as well. Good job DJI and nice to know that you still get value for money one year after your purchase. My bet this is closely linked to the intelligent discharge function that is built into the battery that will allow us to store them at optimal charge. 
In general, I would say 21 minutes is a pretty safe bet for a flight time under normal flying conditions. But I guess I have to prove that. This is pretty important information because if you expect 27 minutes, you're definitely not going to get that. If you need the extra flight time, you might need to pick up an extra battery. I have for your convenience left a link in the description below where you can pick up a brand new battery with a discount. Do you know how well Mavic Pro holds up against specification in regards to speed while doing active track? I made an extensive test to find out. 